Our first genre essay that we are going to do is the narrative. So why do we write a narrative in this course? Well, we all have stories to tell. There's always something about our life, even if we fictionalize it, that we can all find interesting. Narratives are the most familiar form. All of the books we read, if they're fiction, all of the films we watch, all of the television shows, even the jokes we tell are all forms of narrative. And narrative can offer the opportunity for writers to think about themselves, even if they're not writing nonfiction or writing a personal narrative. Who they are informs what they write about. So where should we begin when we think about this assignment? Well, you have several choices. You can write a personal narrative where you think about a memory or event in your life, and then you find the relevance in that event. Or you can write fiction, and to do that you can think of a personal story and then fictionalize it, or you can make up something completely new, then you find the relevance in that event. So what are our first steps when we think about writing a narrative? Well, the first thing you're going to do is select an incident. What do you want to talk about? What story do you wish to tell? And then you want to find the relevance in that event. What new insight did this incident reveal? How did it change you or your character? And the most important thing about a narrative is your details. Concrete details, colors, smells, and sounds will make the story real for your reader. This is sometimes described as show, don't tell. There are a few guiding principles that we should use when we write our narrative. You want to involve the readers in the story. Recreate the incident for the readers. Don't simply retell. Find a generalization, and this will make the experience meaningful for the reader. And what we mean by that is, if you have a very personal experience, you may exclude some readers from being able to empathize with your character. So you need to find a way to make the experience more general so that more people can empathize with your character. And the details must explain, support, and enhance the story. They shouldn't just be added willy-nilly. There are certain conventions that are used when writing a narrative as well. Narratives are generally written in the first person, but third person can also be used. So the first person means using pronouns like I and me, and the third person means using pronouns like he and she. All narratives rely on concrete sensory details to convey their point, and all narratives should include a plot, including setting and characters, a climax, or the event that changes your character, and an ending. We can use the mnemonic device RENS to remember that we need reasons, examples, names, numbers, and senses to create those sensory details. And here's an example. Here's a very general um, sentence. The Braille system of communication uses touch to convey a message. Okay, so that's very general. So what do we mean by touch? So let me think. Okay, so I'm going to punch you in the face and that makes you realize that I'm angry with you, therefore I've used Braille. Now of course that isn't what Braille is, so let's look at a more specific example. The Braille system of communication requires a person to touch a series of raised dots to convey a message. Well, now that is much more accurate and makes much more sense. This concludes our lecture on the narrative. What I would like you all to do now is to go to the discussion board in this module and each of you should post two potential topics for a narrative. Now, the topics that you post don't necessarily have to be one that you would choose personally. What we're doing is collaborating so that our colleagues have something to go on if they're having trouble choosing a topic for a narrative. 